Okay, so this this guy right here, um, he made a video, and I understand this guy is very passionate, and uh, he's very passionate about his um, ties to being in sports and, and athletic and, and um, athletics. Okay, and I understand that he has family, whatever, close to the NFL. And he's played sports, okay? I've obviously played basketball when I was growing up. Okay, so he's one of the very few people that doesn't believe that these games are manipulated, okay? Very few people on YouTube. There's actually a lot of people um, that think that most sports are manipulated. And I'm not... See... I don't think what he understands is I really don't I, I'm not really passionate in about whether or not these games are manipulated or not. You know, I used to be a big fan of uh, sports, okay? But now I just do this now I just do this uh, on my own time. You know, I used to be one of those fans. I used to be a fan of uh, certain teams, okay? I'm still a fan. I'm still a fan of uh, the Houston Rockets, okay? But, you know, I never had a, a favorite football team, okay? But I used to be that type of person. You know, I used to be a Laker fan back when they beat the Kings. You know, that's when I started realizing, like, and starting to get away from certain teams. That's why I don't cheer for or root for certain teams anymore, you know? That's why I did. I, I started doing this stuff, okay? But I'm not hardcore. Like, this guy thinks I'm a hardcore, like, attacking everybody. You know, attacking the NFL, attacking everybody that's out there. You know, there's a lot of other videos out there that go into detail about this stuff. My, my main concern here, uh, my main thing that I'm trying to accomplish is teaching people how to win. Okay? And win and invest. That's the main thing. I'm not asking for nothing. All right? But there's people out there that are putting this, you know, that do this for a living, basically, and uh, put videos out there, you know, really attacking the NFL, really attacking these sports leagues, okay? And that's, th see, this is what this guy doesn't understand. He thinks I'm trying to attack these athletes, you know, attack him or whatever. He's actually, the, this guy is actually the one that came at me, okay? I didn't even come at him. He's the one that came at me, all right? I don't know what it is if he's trying to get his subscribers up or what. You know, I don't know what it what his deal is, but he's the one he's the one that came after um, all these other YouTubers, you know. I also did that with Zach and RFG, okay? But I did it in a different way. I'm not I I made a, a kind of like a a video with RFG and Zach, okay? It, not he this guy says I exposed them, you know. The reason I made that video, the reason I started making those videos on Zach is because of a, a comment that I made on one of his videos that he couldn't answer, okay? That's why I got into that, all right? That was the main reason why I started making those videos, if you go back. But, you know, I'm done with that stuff, you know? I'm, do I'm done with that stuff. Obviously, it helped because, you know, that's why I got my following, my small following, if you want to call it, um, and Zach, you know... To this day, he's still mad that, you know, I even admitted that I got most, you know, I got some of my, my subscribers off of his video, you know, the Houston Rockets video. You can go back and look at all, all the videos, okay? You know, I even said to Zach myself that I got some of my, subs my subscribers that I have right now off of that video, all right? And I thank, I thank you, I, I thank Zach for that, okay? But, you know, I still don't agree with him on every level. But getting back to this guy, like I said, this guy thinks that I'm attacking these athletes and, and putting out these videos. You know, man, there's a lot of other people out there. You know, that's the thing. Like, if, if these sports leagues weren't manipulated, why are there so many videos out there, man? Look at how many videos. The, some of these people that make these videos go into real detail about this stuff, okay? Okay. They're really making these accusations. I'm not making, I'm not making accusations. Okay, if you watch my videos, you know 
yeah, sure, I make I, I throw the term out there, but I'm not making these accusations like some of these other people. If you go look at some of these videos, just scroll down your feed and you'll see. There's a lot of people, man. There's a lot of people doing this, okay, that go to a, a, a more of an extent than I do. I could easily do that. I could easily do that, but I don't. I'm not in it for that. I don't care about it. Like I said, I'm not a fan. I'm not a dedicated fan. I know you're passionate. You're a fan of these these sports leagues, okay? I don't pay money for these sports leagues. I don't go to games. I don't buy jerseys, okay? Like all these other people do. I'm not. That doesn't mean I'm upset with it. I'm I'm upset with it. I just don't trust it. I don't trust it as much as I used to, okay? That's what I'm trying to explain to you, and you don't get it, all right? So you need to, uh, you need to, I think, I think you're just upset and uh, too passionate about certain teams, okay? When, you know, when somebody takes, because I, I think you have close ties to athletics, okay? And you think people are just trying to put you down, which weren't, uh, I, at least I'm not. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm not trying to put your people down. And I know you didn't say that. I know you didn't say that. But you have close ties to athletics, and you think that I'm trying to take these athletes, you know, and saying they're not they're not worthy of anything. Okay, that's basically that's basically the message you're sending in these videos. Like that's what I get from it, you know. Okay, so another thing you don't understand. This is another thing you don't understand about the point spreads. Okay. Back in the day, they didn't, they used statistics, right? People didn't have all this sophisticated betting, okay? There wasn't sophisticated edges or they didn't know, you know, when you made a bet back in the day, okay? I even know this because I knew people that bet back in the day, okay? Uh, for instance, my father, you couldn't just go and bet the game, okay? And these lines didn't move the way they move now, all right? So I'd say slowly through the years, as as the NFL, like all these sports leagues, every, every year I feel like the technology gets better and better. So you're telling me that they can't, there's no question that these games cannot be manipulated. There's, there's no possible way, whereas... You say like thirty, like for instance, thirty years ago, where you had you got the word out, right? Say for instance, someone was betting a game thirty years ago, okay, twenty years ago. You're telling me that, okay, when somebody would place a bet on a game, that the line would be moving, you know, dramatically right away. You know, they didn't have that information back then, okay. So I'm saying back in the day, all right. I'd, I'd say I trust the leagues back in the day than more more so back in the day than I do now, all right? Just because of the technology, you know, there's more ways to manipulate a game, okay? That's why it's entertainment, all right? Now, I'm not saying that they don't try to make the leagues um, authentic. I'm not saying that they're not trying to do their best, but I'm not. I'm saying you cannot trust it. Okay, you cannot 100% trust it. All right, that's the that's the thing you have to have open. You have to open your mind. You cannot trust it 100%. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. And you don't understand it. Okay, so obviously from now until back then, okay, 30. I'm saying 30, 40 years ago. That's when I'd say that the NFL was probably the realest that it had ever been, okay? And every ever since then, as each year went by, more technology comes out, okay? And people get smarter, all right? And people get more wise. They try to make more money, okay? People are trying to make more money in those years, all right? They get more computers. They get more, more um, statistics, okay? And people find edges. Back then, like I said, you couldn't move a line. You couldn't, like you you bet a game, somebody would bet, a, uh, say for somebody would bet $1,000 on a game or $50,000, right? 
nowadays the line moves on air, okay, and moves right away. But back back then, someone could hit that line and it won't move for another hour. It won't move until word gets out. Like 30 minutes later, it won't move. But nowadays, the technology is so great that it moves right away. So they know. And so you're telling me with all that technology, there's no way that they can manipulate a game. Come on, man. You're out of your mind. Okay? So stop trying to tell me that I'm blaming these athletes. Okay? It, it could be a number of things. All right? I'm not trying to pinpoint one game. I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. All right? So... That's really all I got to say in this video, man. But you really got to, I don't, I don't know. You're, you're like one of the few people on here that actually don't believe that these games are manipulated. All right. So I know you're passionate about that. I know you have athletic ties to these sports. Okay. And I used to too. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to make this, include this in this same video, you know, make it a little bit of a compilation. Uh, something interesting here okay so like I said in my uh, like I said about back in the day okay when uh, athletes you know when these point spreads would come out for instance everything it's so sophisticated now the 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 betting lines are so razor sharp that you know the the players aren't even in on it okay but it's so the the betting line is so razor sharp that it's strategically gauged toward that number, okay? That line, and you know, if they need one side, it's going to end up landing on that side, okay? Because of a certain call, it's just more sophisticated. I feel like nowadays nothing can go wrong, okay? That's how um, that's how far we've gotten. Nothing can go wrong, all right. Whereas back in the day, somebody you know, someone could screw up, okay? Someone could make a mistake. I think then it could be individuals, okay? Whereas now I think it's more of a group, a group, okay? I'm not saying it's a group of athletes. I'm saying it's a group as a whole, all right? Like, because of all the computers, all the technology that's out there, you know, and these lines being razor sharp as it is, all right? It could land on one side. It could land on one side and it could be one call, all right? Whereas back then, that's why back then we had, you know, the uh, scan all those scandals, okay, with the baseball, you know, the, the, the Black Sox, okay? We had those type of scandals, those individual scandals, those isolated events, all right? So that's, that's my message to Z to the real, okay? Z the real. All right, so... Like I said, this is a compilation video. I'm going to include this here. But like, you know, you can go and take a look at all these videos that people are putting out there. All right. Saying that the NFL is rigged and it's scripted and all this stuff. You know, this guy right here says NFL is rigged, it's scripted, wake up. And this guy uses stats. That's another th message that I have for Z the Real is he uses stats. I understand he uses stats and he uses his uh, common sense to uh, predict these games or to make these predictions. Okay. This guy is basically saying in his video, all things express that he lost on FanDuel. Okay. And he played FanDuel one time and he noticed that all these players are not scoring touchdowns. You know, all these, these superstar players. And you know why? You know why that for this certain week, he said that, why aren't these players scoring these touchdowns? And, and um, they're, you know why they're not scoring the touchdowns? Because the players that were on these teams have way too much money on them. That's why my suggestion to anybody that's betting fantasy sports, you have to somehow incorporate these players that are playing on this given week, okay? You have to incorporate that into the betting line for that game. OK, or bench these players. All right. So don't be afraid to bench, you know, A.J. Green. Don't be afraid to bench Stefan Diggs. You know, when they have lopsided action on them, you have to know. You just have to know when that occurs. That's why this man right here uh, lost his money on this game, you know. And that's another thing. Uh, Z the Real thinks that everybody that loses money is blaming that's his excuse. That's basically his excuse. He says that 
people are making these videos because people lost money. That's basically, that's his only excuse, you know? That's ridiculous. That's a, a ridiculous excuse saying that all these people, you know, eventually that's going to stop and it hasn't, you know? There's something out there, there's something else out there that people know because why are so many people making these videos, you know? Okay, so that's my suggestion. If you're using stats, you have to, you if you're, Drafting these players on uh, FanDuel and, and DraftKings and all these fantasy leagues like this guy was, you have to understand where the betting line is, okay? You have to understand where the money's going and somehow incorporate that. You also, also have to, my suggestion is to use the total as well, the over-under on the game. Like, for instance, if it's, if it's 40, the difference between 30, 35 total and a, a 46 total, that's a big difference, okay? That can give you a little bit of an idea as well. I'm not going to get into that, but you know, you got to figure it out yourself. You got to use you got to use the point spreads. You got to use the totals as a way to find out if these players are going to perform. Because like this man mentions in this video, you know, he's saying that they're faking their injuries and, and these players aren't scoring touchdowns. Somebody from New England scored a touchdown, and you know, this guy never even plays. Some of these Players are scoring touchdowns uh, with third-string quarterbacks. So uh, that happened on a certain week. Well, you got to look at where the betting public was. You got to understand that stuff. You know, I've seen uh, players win with third-string quarterbacks. Okay, that's why stats don't matter. Look at Iowa State. Iowa State won against Oklahoma earlier in the year with a, a second-string, third-string quarterback. Okay, the starter didn't even make the trip. All right. He could have started in that game. He didn't make the trip because the coach felt that they said the coach felt that he uh, he wasn't uh, he, he played bad in his previous game against Texas. OK, really bad. So they put this second stringer in, and he had a phenomenal game. OK, but see, that's the type of thing that I'm talking about. Like, look at then you then you go back and look and you see, oh, OK, all, all this money was taking Oklahoma. And then you understand, OK, that's why he stayed in the game. You know, that stuff's not coincidence, all right? There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that stuff. It's all, it's perception. It comes down to the perception at the end of the day, okay? That's why Vegas is so good because they get people to lose their money, all right? They, they deceive people. That's basically what it is. The media deceives people and uh, Vegas deceives people. That's it, man, all right? So uh, Z the real, he's just contradicting himself because... In a way, deceiving people, when you deceive somebody, all right, you're basically getting them to lose money. You're manipulating, all right? It's all it's all intertwined, man. It's all the same stuff. It's, it's the same stuff, okay? So take a look at this guy. Atomic Knowledge. This is one of my, I, I follow this guy, you know. This guy should get more subscribers. Give this guy some subscribe. Uh, subs here, okay. This guy was at the Oakland game, Oakland, Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs game, okay. And you know, the Marshawn Lynch is fighting with this guy Deion Sanders, but they're just playing around right before the game. And then it's ironic that you know he mentions in the video he's at the game because he were he was working there, but. You know, this guy, he was fighting with them. He just play fighting. And then he, they get into a brawl, you know. Kansas City or uh, Kansas City and Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch gets ejected, you know, in the same game. He's like, you know, there's a brawl. Look at this. Going all the way up. So Marshawn Lynch is just playing around. You know, I, there's a couple more videos with me on the Kansas City sideline. So you can see I was there. I was right there. Uh, number 12 was on the exercise bike, uh, warming up his legs. And then he got off the exercise bike and went in the game and caught a touchdown pass. I had just got through talking to him. I was back and forth on the sideline for Kansas City Chiefs game. So, yeah, I just put, you know, one-on-one -on -one together just now. And, yeah, that shit's fixed. More proof than that. That's, that stuff's funny, man. That 
So like I said, back to this right here, this guy right here, all things expressed, atomic knowledge 53, okay? That's basically all I have for you, man. All right? If these sports were not sometimes manipulated, then why are so many people making videos now? It can't be because they lost money. You keep saying that and that's a poor excuse. Eventually it would stop and it hasn't. Exactly. There's, that's, that's my comment here. It hasn't stopped and I don't think it will stop. Until somebody finds out. Until somebody finds out something, right? Alright, so peace out. I'll be back with another video. So uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you then.